What is going on lads and welcome back to FIFA 15's biggest upgrades where today we're going to be looking at PSG and AS Monaco's biggest upgrades going into FIFA 15 who I am predicting to be going up loads and what players are going to be absolutely awesome when we do go into that game. I am really looking forward to it. All these Photoshop videos are interesting to be doing but I really just want to get in and play some FIFA 15. So before we get into this video if you guys want to carry on playing FIFA and want to go play some FIFA 14 there's a link down in the description to UT Coins for you. Go over there use the discount code AJ3 and you can get yourself 100k for about two pounds and try out all the awesome players that you still get to use on FIFA 14. I've been picking up some people like I man of the match Sanchez and stuff like that and they are really fun to use so I'd recommend going and trying him out but let's move on and take a look at Monaco's. We're going to do Monaco's first and then we'll move on to the big spenders that are PSG. Let's take a look at their first biggest upgrade number three only coming in at a plus two it is 79 Abdenor is I think how you pronounce his name he's from Tunisia so I'm not again too good with foreign languages so it's a 79 already a decent little player in FIFA 14, not really gets used too much because centre-backs aren't too expensive, so if you're going to go for the League Earn or League One or whatever you want to call it, people will just go for Thiago Silva and people like that because he only costs about 10k, so you may as well, but this guy is a 79 and like I said, he's going to be going up plus two, I think, that is what he's currently rated on head-to-head, -head. he's an 81 rated centre-back. So he does look pretty decent, actually. 86 defendant, 79 heading I've given. That is a plus 5 for his defendant, which is pretty good all around. Like I said, this is his stats on head-to-head. -head. I am not a massive Monaco fan. I don't really know too much about their team. I did have to do some digging about this and like look at head-to-head -head ratings and what they are to see what people EA have predicted to already go up, so they are likely to go up in FIFA 15. This guy might actually go up more, I'm not too sure. Maybe they'll think he's ended FIFA 14 on an 81, will make him an 82 in FIFA 15, I'm not too sure. But that is what I have predicted them for now. And 81 looks pretty decent, like I said about Thiago Silva and everyone using him now. At the start of FIFA, Thiago Silva will be ridiculously expensive. And this guy's a pretty good alternative, nearly 70 pace and 86 defendant would be very, very good. So then, after a measly plus two upgrade, let's move on and take a look at a slightly bigger upgrade from Monaco. And it's going to be their goalkeeper, Subbasic. Now, he's only a silver and he's only 71 rated on FIFA 14. But he's actually Monaco's starting goalkeeper. I think they have got a gold one in the game. But this is the guy that plays all of the games. I think he's played about 30 odd games and the other guy's played about 12 this season. So he's a very good goalkeeper getting into the Monaco team and obviously deserves to be gold rated. So that is what I have gone and given him. And that is, again, what he is on head-to-head. -head. He is a 75 rated goalkeeper. And he looks pretty decent. Again, people do like to go for Sirigu and stuff he doesn't really cost too much but at the start of the game if you want like a discard value team this guy is going to be absolutely awesome he's a decent all-round goalkeeper you can see I've given plus three diving plus two handling plus three kicking reflexes and he's got plus nine positioning which is a big one only had 66 positioning so when he's going up to gold he's moved up to about 75 and he's going to be an absolutely awesome goalkeeper and like I said starter team goalies people who are just going to be discard value but are actually decent players this guy is going to be one of them for them French league teams so then, that just leaves us one more massive upgrade for Monaco. Subasic went up plus four, and this guy is going to beat even that. So it is Kozawa, is I think how you pronounce his name, a French left back, of course, playing for Monaco. 68 rated he is in FIFA 14, and I think this guy is going to go up five, at least five, to 73 in FIFA 15. I've been a little bit conservative, he does have a 74 rated team of the season, so I could have given him a 74 if I wanted to, and maybe these stats are deserving of a 74 because he has had a big big upgrade plus five pace three shooting five passing and dribbling eight defending and two heading maybe that guy does deserve a 74 let me know what you think of that down in the comment section but either way he is going to be a huge upgrade five or six and this guy is looking like an awesome left back everyone always has to play van der wiel as a right back in league one teams just because there's no really decent right back and if you want to build a silver one now with van der wiel you could have this guy on the opposite side and he would be a very very good defender to pop in your teams there but let's now move on and move on to the big spenders from PSG. I'm actually going to straight away address that right back position because PSG have gone and bought themselves Serge or Sergei or however you pronounce this guy's name, Aurea. He was of course tipped to go to Arsenal and he's a 75 rated right back on FIFA 14 but PSG were the ones who won and went and got him and that is absolutely awesome for our squads. He's already a decent player and he's already miles better than most of the right backs if not all of the right backs in the league one. And I think going into FIFA 15, he can only get better. So I've put him up to a 78. He had an absolutely awesome season. Brilliant World Cup. Got himself a team of the season. Plays incredible in the World Cup. Got an international man of the match. This guy is going places. I don't know why Arsenal bought Debushi instead of this guy. Maybe this guy just wanted to go to PSG instead. Seen bigger things there. But he's looking absolutely awesome. And he is, of course, even though he's only low rated. And like I was saying about Sebasic, he's going to be a discard value low player. 
This guy is a low player, but I don't think he's going to be discard value because as of this season, he would be the only decent player at right back in the league one. So he's probably going to be quite expensive. You can see I've given plus two pace, plus six shooting and passing because he scored a couple of goals and got quite a few assists last season. Plus three dribbling and defending and plus two heading is a nice all round upgrade and going up three overall for this guy. Our next PSG upgrade is going to be Belice Matweedy, FIFA 14, 81 rated this guy is, and he has had more informs, team of the seasons, I man of the matches than since. He has been playing so well this season to get them. You can see in FIFA 14 because of that. I have again put him up three to an 84 rated centre mid in FIFA 15 because that is where, that's the position, or the, rather the formation that PSG play in. Most of these guys play all of their games at centre mid, so I think he is going to be a centre mid on FIFA 15 and it won't cost people a fortune to move him into centre midfield in their 4-4-2 or 4-3-3 teams. I've given him a plus three on his pace, plus six on his shooting because he actually scored a few goals and he scored a decent goal at the World Cup as well. Plus four, passing, dribbling, heading and plus three defender. Makes this guy a very good all-round card, pushing 80 on every single stat apart from his shooting. Only his dribbling and shooting are underneath it and dribbling is at 78. So he's a very, very good card. And if he gets a team of the season, he's going to be pushing 90 in a lot of his stats and will be absolutely unreal. Finally then, going into our final upgrade for PSG. This is one of the ones I asked you guys on Twitter. So if you don't agree with any of these, please don't hit that dislike button. Give it a like and let me know down in the comment section what I could have changed. And make sure you come over and follow me on Twitter because I do always ask your guys' opinion about these players and you can make sure I get them right next time. But you guys decided Thiago Motta and I have put him up from an 80 rated CDM in FIFA 14 to an 83 rated centre mid in FIFA 15. Like I said, same for Matuidi. This guy plays most of his games in centre mid according to whoscored.com anyway. But we have given plus zero on his pace because he's nearly 33 now and EA just don't give up grades and pace to old people I don't know why he probably does deserve a little bit more pace he's not too bad and he's got really good agility but it's just the way EA do it once they get old EA stop upgrading the pace and think they are basically dying and just turning into cripples but never mind we have given plus one shooting plus three passing two, dri two dribbling four defending because he's a very good defensive player for PSG and plus two head makes this guy a pretty solid player probably not going to get used because of that 50 pace people love pace on FIFA but if you ignore that all of the other stats are absolutely brilliant and basically the same as Matuidi so he's probably going to be a cheap Matuidi and you could even just slap a pace card on him and you will basically have Matuidi's card but that is where we're going to leave this video lads i hope you have enjoyed it if you want to see any more other combos of teams make sure you check my channel and see all the other ones before you go recommend me ones i've already done but pop them down in the comment section any ones that i haven't done already apart from that lads i hope you have enjoyed this video if you have 500 likes would be absolutely awesome thanks for watching and i will see you next time